Things to come. Back again? Yes, I'm off. I'm afraid. I really want to know what's coming. Ah, I'm beginning to see it. Yes, it's coming. What do you see? I see your wonderful future. I see world peace, money, and good health for you. You're a big fat liar. I'm dying of cancer. I've been fired and evicted. You're a fake. I should call the cops. Oh no, here, take your money back, please. I'll never trust another fortune teller again. <clears throat> Don't tell me you lost another customer. I'm sorry. You keep this up and I'll have to move out and get a job. Where's your gift? Maybe it's gone. Face it, Maria. Who really knows the future? I know a guy, but I hate him. He doesn't use a crystal ball or tea leaves or read palms. And worst of all, he doesn't honor our religion. Holy Mother of God! What does Father Diamond say about him? He warned me. He said, I'm telling you, Maria, that guy is dangerous. Stay away from him. I promised him, but I went anyway. When I got to the door, I freaked out. I can't do it. I sensed a force inside. It was like it was waiting to get me. Look, Maria, my career is shot if I can't come up with any answers. What do people say who went to him? They say he's on target. He tells the future from an ancient black book. They say he knows what's coming. Would he talk to me? Talk? Oh yeah, he talks to everybody. You can't shut him up. Here's his address. I'm glad it's you and not me. Uh, hello, Mr. Rogers. I'm Dolores, and I'm interested in the future. Would you talk with me? I would be delighted. I've been told that you know what's coming. Is that true? Yes, indeed. I hope you can handle what I'm about to tell you. Please sit and tell me a little about yourself, and I'll tell you what's in store for you. Okay. For starters, I'm a devout Roman Catholic, and I do everything my priest tells me to do. I go to Mass, help the poor, and pray the rosary. I hope my good works will get me into heaven. I've got real bad news, Dolores. You are not protected. You're going to miss out on the greatest opportunity of your life. God warned us this would happen. He gave us signs to look for in his book. And the signs have come. Oh, what will I miss? God is really fed up with us. When God the Father's patience comes to an end, he will command, It's time. Sound my trumpet. This is what will happen in a twinkling of an eye. Jesus descends from heaven with a shout, with the trump of God. To the clouds below, it will sound like thunder. All the people throughout history who believe in him will hear their names called. Some skeletons in the old graveyards will respond to God's trumpet. They will change into new bodies and burst into the clouds, along with millions of others who believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. All those alive, with faith alone in Christ to save them, will join them with their new bodies to meet the Lord in the air. This way, his church is taken up in the rapture to become his bride. As we enter heaven, the glory and beauty we see will blow our minds. First we'll meet our loved ones with joy unspeakable. Then we'll face the judgment seat of Christ. Every believer must be judged, but not for our sins because Jesus already saved us by washing them away with his blood. Next. At this time, Jesus will review our works recorded after we were born again. Our good and bad works shall be tested by fire. If any good works survive, we will be rewarded with crowns. For those who love his appearing, for faithfully preaching the gospel, for resisting temptation, for the faithful church leader, and we will live in the heavenly mansions. Next, the wedding.
His church becomes his bride, followed by the magnificent marriage supper of the Lamb with angels serving us. And where am I? In deep trouble. While all of this is going on in heaven, you'll be down here facing a nightmare. When the rapture hits, those left behind will panic, looking for their relatives and friends. The world will declare an international emergency. Finally, they'll come up with some incredible lie. Maybe they'll explain away the rapture by claiming aliens and flying saucers remove those fanatics to protect us. Will they believe it? Of course, because your church will rule the world and back up that lie. Amidst the chaos, an amazing man appears at the Vatican claiming to be Jesus Christ returning to rule his church. Everyone will love and worship him as their new pope. But here there's a little problem. He's actually the beast. As Pope, this Jesuit general deceives everybody. Outwardly, he pushes peace and safety, but inwardly, he backs the sneak attack Russia and the Muslims make against Israel. Under papal orders, no nation is allowed to hinder this action. Israel gets no help from the world. Israel stands alone as the armies attack, but God smashes the invaders with giant hailstones and fire. Allah's armies are massacred on the mountains of Israel along with the Russians. Millions die. The beast is furious. He wanted Jerusalem for himself. The nations are stunned that Israel survived. Israel begins rebuilding the Jewish temple and signs a peace treaty with the smiling beast in Rome. The trap is set. Do you really think that monster will honor it? No way. Famine comes. The beast demands everyone takes its mark in their forehead or hand so they can buy or sell food. Those who refuse his mark are beheaded. Those who take it, God will cast into the lake of fire. The Lord Jesus hates the Vatican and calls her the great whore. He has it burned for murdering millions and destroying the souls of its faithful members. The beast escapes to Jerusalem. Satan enters his body. He defiles the Jewish temple by calling himself God. The Lord unleashes his wrath on the ungodly. The beast orders his armies to destroy Israel at Armageddon. It's payback time. Two thousand years ago, the Creator was sacrificed as the Lamb of God. The world shed his blood and laughed. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Jesus is still despised, but he is coming back, not as a lamb, but this time as a lion, to shed their blood. When Jesus returns, he will show no mercy. The beast's armies are slaughtered. Jesus rules the world as Israel's Messiah and King of Kings. After 1,000 years, he will judge everyone who died in their sins. This is called the Great White Throne Judgment. Hell is emptied. Each lost person faces Jesus as his life is replayed. Depart from me. No pardons. All are cast into the lake of fire to join the beast. That's what's coming, Dolores. So, do you want to reign with Christ forever with a beautiful mansion? Or, he's nuts. Stick with Satan's popes. Receive the mark of the beast and spend eternity in the lake of fire. <clears throat> Ow! That thunder is so loud, it hurt my ears. Mr. Rogers? Where are you? Mr. Rogers? Where? <gasps> no! It can't be! He's gone! In the twinkling of an eye. The rapture is coming. World War Three is coming. The One World Church is coming with the beast. Will Jesus call your name? Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. The Bible says there's only one way to heaven. Jesus said, 
I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Nobody else can save you. Trust Jesus today, that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Admit you are a sinner, be willing to turn from sin, repent. Believe that Jesus Christ died for you, was buried, and rose from the dead. Through prayer, invite Jesus into your heart to become your personal Savior. Dear God, I am a sinner and need forgiveness. I believe that Jesus Christ shed his precious blood and died for my sin. I am willing to turn from sin. I now invite Christ to come into my heart as my personal Savior. If you trusted Jesus as your Savior, you have just begun a wonderful new life with him. Now, read your Bible, King James Version, every day to get to know Jesus Christ better. Talk to God in prayer every day. Be baptized, worship, fellowship, and serve with other Christians where Christ is preached and the Bible is the final authority. Tell others about Jesus Christ.